Welcome to Kingdom Community South Africa. This is the youth program presented by the Kingdom Youth. In a world influenced by status, fame, charm and deception, we the youth of the Kingdom of God are living amidst a world culture. There may come a time where we conform to standards of the world, backslide and maybe even compromise our salvation in this desolate and vain environment. Being exposed to this negative environment is not a problem. We are to expect adversity, trials and tribulations. However, as children of God, if we are not influencing the kingdom of God in this environment, that is the problem. Join us as we learn and discover our mandate and authority as children of God to influence the kingdom of God in our world today. Good evening, young people. Again, we are here. Um, today we are back with Ambassador Siema. And today we want to just get into deep with financial issues as young people. So today I just want us to talk about feeling the pressure financially as the young person. Now, Ambassador Siema, you've been throwing to us uh, principles and all the information that we need and how we can apply that. You've been actually laying the foundation of how to deal with finances. Now we are going into deep. Mm. A person who is now looking head on with the finances now, this young person. For instance, let's start here. Trans let's say you are transitioning from high school to university. And now you are facing the financial peer pressure. And you are learning how to develop these financial good habits. How to develop financial good habits during pressure mm. <laughs> of finance. Thank you. Ambassador, great to be back. Yes. Uh, I am so privileged to have been invited here and working with the youth. Um, I also just want to uh, put in a disclaimer there that, uh, <laughs> you know, when you deal with matters of finance, yes. you tend to attract uh, a lot of interesting things. Yes. So I need to put a disclaimer that I am going to share principles that I've learned, but I'm not a financial uh, advisor. <laughs> so... Uh, don't 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 write to us and and say we'll sue you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we know that already. Thank you. Um, Thank you. But yes, uh, how do you transition? Uh, you know, dealing with the issues of finance under pressure. Mm. I think we. I think today we'll, we'll speak a lot about finance, but let's lay a foundation around the foundation that you need, because this foundation is critical uh, in handling all sorts of different pressures. Mm. And it's a quick review of the two sessions we had. Yes, that's <laughs> right. right. That's it's right. you have to develop yourself. Mm. Uh, you have to make sure that you are grounded. You have to make sure you've got the right mentors. You're reading the right books. Yes. That's where we, you know, we're not gonna go deep into those into areas because we have we have worked on those areas. Yes. Now, I need to say that finance, as a young people, as a young person, they can either make you or break you. If you make the wrong financial decisions, mm. you will be on a very wrong path for a very long time. Mm. And some people don't recover. Actually, mm. they end up in you know, gambling or getting loans from machonisas wow. and all mm. of that because you made the wrong financial decisions early. Mm. So what you want to do is make the right financial decisions uh, off the bed. And for you to do that, you've got to have the right principles of how to handle finance mm. and not, not let finance own you. Mm. So deal with the issue of pressure differently. Remember, pressure is based on external factors. External factors you yes. don't have to sign on to those pressures. Yes, yes. That's right. what we learned. That's what we learned, yes. right? You don't have to sign on to those pressures. Mm. So when you get, uh, and, and the last point that we ended with, uh, one of the last points we ended with was mm. differentiate the fact that you are already rich in the Lord versus the finances that you are getting. Yeah. Remember yes. that all the the, the, the scents and rents that come into your into your hands, yeah. those that's a seed. <laughs> that's a seed that you need to take and turn into wealth. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. Um, so so that's, that, that's those are the first fundamental. You've got to have that in place yes. so that when money comes, you don't malfunction. Yeah. <laughs> 
the malfunctioning, <laughs> all right? Very critical mm. that you have those in place because then when money comes, you can start to calmly decide already. It must come already in a place where you have already decided mm. what is it that you're going to focus on. Because when money comes, uh, it needs to be deployed. Okay. <laughs> if you don't deploy it, you're going to waste it. Yes. Yes. Right. Mm. So you have to have already put together a plan mm. of what is it that I'm going to do. Yes. Because, uh, you know, one of the things that I did early uh, when I started working, um, you know, I, I, I worked on a couple of things. I said, okay, first I need to, of course, look at uh, my accommodation, the basic things. You know, you've got accommodation, you've got uh, groceries here and there, and you've got your transport. So I put that in my budget. Okay. And then I said, okay, what am I going to do to make sure that my tomorrow is different? Okay. You see, I've always believed that it's okay to be broke now mm -hmm. if I'm working on something that will change the state of being broke yes, yes, yes. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But if you're broke because you've taken the money and went to Ulwets and to Edgar's mm -hmm. and to whatever other shop mm -hmm. and you've spent the money, you are on a wrong path. Okay. You will end up with Mashonis. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the first thing to Step nail down is. is to understand that when, 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 when finance comes, it has to be deployed as mm -hmm. opposed to being spent. Yes, yes. Those are two different uh, habits you want to you wanna build okay. early on in life. Okay. Wow. There is, there is a lot to unpack also on that. Mm. Because n number one, mm. what would happen when, when now you mismanage uh, your finances? Mm. So now I want to ask you this on this one mm. before we continue to the second point. Yes. Is that what if, is it possible for a person who just got on the wrong foot before that became a habit, mm -hmm. but this person just did not know. Because people will, there is this thing that is famous as young people. Mm -hmm. when, you get, when you get your first paycheck, mm -hmm. you just go and spend it to yourself. You deserve it, baby girl, mm -hmm. or, or baby boy, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. So now, I want to, to talk about that. Mm -hmm. What is it doing? Especially when you, you start, you are, you are initiating this habit of just spending on yourself, or just go do something crazy. Yeah. Look, <laughs> let, let, let's be honest, a lot of us did that, <laughs> right? Um, uh, simply because, and, I, and, and that comes from lack of knowledge, right? Mm, yeah. Because if, if you don't know any better, chances are when, when, when the funds come, yeah. you, you are going to mismanage them, you are going to misuse yeah. them. Yeah. And part of misusing them is doing something that you believe at that time that it's making you happy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a lot of people and a lot of us, that's how we started. Mm. In fact, a lot of us bent our fingers first before we realized we are on a wrong path. Mm. The key is once you learn uh, figuring a way out to turn. Mm. So the best way is to learn ahead of time. Yes. And to do that, you have to go back to the two sessions we've already had mm, on yes. how we deal with pressures and what we need to put in place. The foundation and the fundamentals you need to put in place. Mm. But let's say you don't have that. Mm. <laughs> let's, say, let's say you are only watching this uh, series now it's, and you, 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 you've been working for the last five years and you look back you can't even see what oh, you have been yeah, doing yeah. because the thing with mismanagement of funds is that um, you run around the same circle mm. and when, with, when you start earning, when you start in a job you are interesting enough for the bank to give you a loan and yeah, that's about it that's true you don't have uh, for most of us you're not earning enough to really build something significant mm. when you start. Mm. We're just interesting to get a loan. Mm. And if you make the wrong choices, mm. you probably have lots of loans, lots of credit cards, uh, clothing cards, mm. all sorts of different cards that you have bills all over the place. Mm. And that's a reality for many people. Yes. All right. Yes. So what if you're already in that place? You have to pause. And sometimes this is not something you will be able to do on your own. Mm you will need somebody to assist you because it takes a different type of discipline financially to turn the situation around. Okay. So, so you may need to see a financial planner oh, yes. who yes. will help you start building in the discipline required on the finances to start paying off debt. Debt, okay. De debt is not your friend, especially <laughs> when, when you're early and you're not using it as leverage. Mm -hmm. People who know how to use debt as leverage, 
uh, benefit from it. Mm -hmm. But if you're using debt for clothing, food, credit mm -hmm. cards, mm -hmm. it's eating you. Mm -hmm. It's making you a slave. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you need to, to be able to pause and you will need help mm -hmm. uh, to be able to bring the discipline financially, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get out of all of that debt and stay away from the pressures. Again, most people go, I know this friend of mine, well, not a friend, but somebody I grew up with. Mm -hmm. They went into a lot of debt because of the pressure mm -hmm. of the people they were hanging out with. Yeah. Because the people they were hanging out with drove nice cars, lived in nice places, mm -hmm. and then you know they were wearing nice labels and so on. Mm -hmm. They took on credit cards mm -hmm. to pay for all of those things. Mm -hmm. And what, at the end of it all, as, as we say in South Africa, it ended in tears. In <laughs> right? It ended in so tears. It ended in tears. Yes. And, and what helped them turn around that situation was somebody, they, they, they had an intervention. <laughs> okay. So you may need that intervention if you're already gone down that road mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, you, know, you can start building in some discipline yes. uh, to yes. get out of debt. And then, what I want to say... Mm -hmm. You mentioned about you may learn beforehand mm. or maybe you are within these habits that you already developed mm. already when this knowledge now comes into action. Mm. So now, for those that uh, are already in, mm. there is a saying, because we read many, many uh, books and, and everything, there is a saying that I read mm. on, on, on a constitution, mm -hmm. our constitution, which says, Fools usually learn after they experienced, mm. but mm. The, the wise and the prudent, they always learn beforehand. Mm. I know it's a harsh statement because all, most of us, we think that we have to learn through experience. We say experience is the best teacher. Mm. And, and, and I want you to say something on that. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> that's a very interesting uh, statement. Mm. I think it was Dr. Miles who said, um, mm. if experience is your only teacher, yes. uh, uh, the, I think he said something like, uh, f the future is in, in trouble or something like mm, that. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I, and it, it, you know, we, can, we can correct it as we go. Yes. But essentially, what it means is that, you know, don't, don't wait uh, and learn only on what is in the past. Yes. yes. Um, Understand what is in the past yeah. and use it to think about where you want to go. Yes. Yes. You don't have to experience it yourself. Mm. So, so, so the thing is, within our environments, within your own world, there's a lot of people you can learn from. Yes. You know, you don't always have to put your head under the bus to know that it, the bus can kill you. <laughs> you just have to look around. Mm. You just have to watch... You know, channels, uh, I mean, shows like are blue it. Mm, yes, yeah. And, they put and their head under the bus. They put their head under the bus. For us. <laughs> you don't have to follow mm. the same. Mm. So you can learn from other people's mistakes wow. uh, financially. You can start looking at people that are uh, doing well in the space mm. and start understanding from them. Yes. You can also start looking at, you know, where I started myself uh, was I went to a bank and I was not even a private client. I went into a bank and I said, I want to talk to a financial advisor. Mm, and yeah. I said to him, start showing me what are the instruments that are out there if I want to save. Mm. There's a difference between saving and investing. Okay. Um, and then I said, well, teach me. What are the differences? Mm. Talk to me about that. Where can I find more material mm. for me to learn about these different yes. instruments? Yes. Okay, then, then I started using, you know, when you're still starting, and the, the beauty of it is when you're starting, you don't have to to take on unnecessary bills. Mm. What, you could, what you can do is start learning these instruments and, and putting these instruments into action. Because when uh, I used, uh, I think I took on three instruments as a start, mm. and I saw uh, you know, five years down the line what those instruments, how they were behaving. Mm. And then I took that practical experience that I've, I've, I now have in those instruments, plus the books, the knowledge, mm. uh, you know, the, the, the information that I'm learning, and start remodeling where I want to go. Yeah. It's a process. Yes. If, 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 if you're already in a mess, it's not going to be a microwave amount. <laughs> and the same way, by the way, it takes the microwave thinking to get into a mess. All right. The, I want this and I want it now. <laughs> I want to drive a BMW and I want to drive it now. now. Yes. There's nothing wrong in driving a BMW. Yes, sir. 
but it's do are you right now in a place where you have the capacity <laughs> to handle that financially mentally psychologically are you there if you are not there what can you do to build towards that goal all right all right wow Let's get to another point. Let's see what we can get from this one. Mm -hmm. How to handle your financial stability now after university, mm -hmm. when now you start working. Mm -hmm. Let's say you start working, how to handle that financial stability. You have a stability, yes, yeah. but how to handle it according to your capacity also. So, so, so the key word there is planning, yes. is you have a clear plan and, and you constantly plug what comes in into that plan, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. when you plug it into the plan, uh, there's a clear direction and focus on where you're running. Because stability means things are intact, yeah. Yeah. right? Things don't become intact by osmosis. Okay. okay. <laughs> things become intact because there's a clear plan that is being executed mm. um, intentionally so. Even when you know, as a young person, you'll desire things. And I know this because I desired things as a young person, Hello. right? I, um, you know, I love travel. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to go overseas. Yeah. And, and, and I, I like certain type of cars. Mm -hmm. So you will desire those things. There's nothing wrong with all of those things. What is key is you being able to roll those things into a plan that has got clear objectives, clear mm -hmm. goals, and you are executing on that plan. When you execute on that plan, all of these things, you create stability. Mm. You can start, you know, figuring out or having, I was talking to this young man, he really blessed me. Because yes. he said to me, uh, uh, when I have already uh, six months of my salary saved, mm. you know, that I can afford to resign here and go for six months uh, pushing this side hustle of mine. Uh, to see if it will work out or not, mm -hmm. and I will not starve because I, I have that saved. Mm -hmm. So that was a clear strategy that he put in place to make sure that he has that buffer. That, yeah. Now everyone must build up that sort of buffer. Wow, this is <laughs> you. You talking about about this mm -hmm. like your stability, mm -hmm. and which means the term on its own. Yeah. It, it shows that there is a process of the, this young person has been put this, this information into place so that mm. everything can be stable. Mm. So now, I want, I, want, I want us to go to this one now. Since now we've talked about this, let's get to this one. Mm -hmm. How now you can handle the financial expectations from a family, a partner, now that you are working? See now, it's going to be two families, a family yeah. and a partner. As, as, as a married man, I can tell you for free, <laughs> if you don't sort out your financial life as a family, mm. um, things are going to be, let's, let's choose the right word, mm. interesting in that family. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. Uh, the, the finance in a family are very critical mm. to make sure that you as a family uh, are aligned on uh, the areas where you deploy. And I keep using this word deploy as opposed to spend. Because when you deploy your cash, it's a seed. It means you're putting it somewhere so that it can work for you. For you, yes. Right? Yes. So if as a family you don't have a clear plan of how you're going to do that, it's going to be very difficult because your own... Uh, uh, let's say my own family, brothers and sisters, and my own parents, mm. depending on their situation, they may be having some demands mm. on our income. Mm. And similarly on her side, for my wife, depending on the situation of her parents and siblings, there may be demands that come from that, that uh, side. side. Also, yes. So if uh, from a financial perspective, me and my wife are not aligned, or me and my partner are not aligned, mm. You've got to be, you, you are going to uh, wrap each other the wrong way a lot. All right. I want, I want to, to, okay, to mention, it, to, to mention this yeah. also yeah. and also ask a question. Right. Number one, what you need to notice mm -hmm. is that when you start uh, getting into a stable situation financially, mm -hmm. what I learned from my mentor, mm -hmm. Mr. Charlie Masala, he, he kept saying to me, you don't need to change the way you live 
because now you are earning this amount of money. Mm. And he says, keep living that way mm. that you've been living. And you'll see that by not raising the standard, only the only thing that raised mm. is, the ma is the amount that you are getting, mm. which means now that, that gap is savings for you. Mm. So that is what I learned, and that is what really I can say I'm, I'm, I'm trying to apply that always in my own life. Number two, I want this question. Mm -hmm. Okay, does okay? How does it affect your financial stability when you are married? Mm -hmm. If you were mismanaging your finances when you were single, oh, that's everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see because mm. you see, habits don't change because you are married. Okay, you are still you. Mm. Uh, you you're still an individual <laughs> in that marriage. That marriage is made up of two individuals mm. who have developed their own habits individually. Yeah, and 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 if if those habits um, were based on malfunctioning around finances, mm. you will still malfunction even when you're married. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't therefore uh, change it because you're married. Mm. So I want to emphasize the point that uh, you've just mentioned, that, uh, you know, Ambassador is right. Yes. Yes. This is what happens to, to most families. Mm. When um, we get an increase in terms of income, we also increase our lifestyle or our demand on that income. We don't have the discipline to keep things as they are. Mm. And that comes from the habits that we build, the, the bad financial habits that we build. Mm. You see, by and large, for most of us, uh, there's a, even if it's inflationary based, uh, you get an increase annually. But notice your lifestyle annually. Oh, wow. So uh, we, we are doing an exercise right now with my wife. We are mm -hmm. right at the end of it. Um, we are right at the end of it where we, we've re-looked at um, our financial life in the last year. We, we have now put together uh, spreadsheets for mm -hmm. this year's budget, and, and we're doing that. And, and, our, and, and we noticed some few things mm -hmm. uh, uh, because we, we, we looked at uh, our budget spreadsheet from last year and from two years ago mm. and looked at our budget spreadsheet for this year and said, <laughs> we, can, we can see exactly which areas mm. the demands have increased, some unnecessarily so. Yeah, yeah. So because we were, we were able to reflect, now we can start, hey, that one must we go. One. Because actually we don't need that. Don't need that. Mm. And, and that discipline uh, is, is something you want to build. Uh, early. For some people, you may need an intervention mm -hmm. to be able to build that type of discipline because that's part of why we, even though you, you, are, you are increasing financially every year, mm -hmm. you are still unable to, to live a, a life that is uh, financially well yes, yes. because you, you keep increasing the demands. The demands more than what you earn oh, usually sometimes. Correct, correct, yes, correct. Yes. Ambassador, <laughs> I know that we can, we can discuss about this topic more deep and, and method, methods that yeah. we can use because yeah. there's a methodology yes. always of how to use this. Thank you so much for, for watching young people and thank you so much Ambassador yes. for being with us for these weeks that we've been together. Thank you so much. Uh, please, let's keep tuning in on the next Friday. Thank you so much.